Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I am doing another HelloFresh video. Um, so yeah, I'm making my second meal that came in my weekly order. Um, so of course this is the HelloFresh box that it comes in. And um, so I'll just leave it here so I can see it. But then today we are actually making the crispy hot honey chicken. Super excited about that. I will show you guys. This is their recipe card or meal card, as they call it. Um, so of course it shows you what it should look like. The back has the six steps that it takes uh, to do this meal. And then it also has like what you need to take out, what you also need like as far as the ingredients that are all in here. So over here in the sink I have my chicken which is falling out and then um, this is the meal bag that it comes in. Um, this is going to be my little drinky drink um, for today because I had a long day. This is just the Calabasi Moscato Sangria. This does not come with this. This is just what I'm having for dinner <laughs> today. Um, but this is the hot honey chicken bag. So all of this meal's ingredients in it. I'm going to go ahead and take it out for you guys. I also have some of my prepping items here. So I have this glass bowl with the lid from Dollar Tree here. So this is like a medium size. I also have two little small sizes here. Um, little ramekins here from Dollar Tree. I have my Betty Crocker peeler, potato peeler here. And then some tongs for my chicken and the cutting board. And then I also, okay, so what comes in the bag, or the ingredients bag for this meal, this comes with fresh farm grown chives, super nice. This is actually a 0.25 ounces, and yeah, so this is chives. If you'd like to put that in your potatoes. The next thing is the pink, this is actually a half cup of panko breadcrumbs in this nice little packet so everything is ready to go. Um, the next thing is fry seasoning. Um, so this is one tablespoon worth. This actually says the ingredients is garlic, onion, and paprika. So this is good. Um, the next thing in the bag is the Mike's Hot Honey. Um, it's infused with chilies, so this is actually a 0.75 ounce little packet, so I'm excited to try this. And it also comes with some Daisy Sour Cream packet. This is actually a one ounce little packet right here. You can also add your own, um, any ingredients that you don't like that comes in this um, package. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. And if you want more of some items, then you can definitely add more to your meal. It's all up to your preference. Um, the next thing are some actually fresh farm carrots. So this is going to be nice. These are carrots. There are three carrots in here. So I have my three carrots. So I'll slip this up here. Um, so actually you get two packets of sour cream, which is good, so you don't have to add your own. And then there are six, oh, seven, seven little rustic potatoes, or yellow golden potatoes. So there's seven yellow golden potatoes. This is perfect for making um, <laughs> mashed potatoes, um, so yeah. <laughs> Mashed potatoes is actually a side in this dish. And then there is also a side of carrots. So this is going to be a really nice dish. I am going to go ahead and cut up all of my ingredients. And I'll be back in one second. The crispy hot honey chicken. So you get, um, of course, the chicken breast for your chicken. Um, you also get chives, the panko breadcrumbs, sour cream, yellow golden potatoes. Fry seasoning, um, so it actually comes with chicken cutlets, which is nice. And then you get the hot honey, and actually the prep time is 10 minutes. 
And then the total time to cook this is 35 minutes. This is only 720 calories, which is very nice. So it's, the first step is the prep step. So it says adjust, adjust the rack to upper position and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. And it says a tip for crispier carrots, um, leave a foil lined baking sheet inside the oven while it preheats. Wash and dry all produce, peel carrots, um, then half, then, uh, then half lengthwise. Um, cut into three inch long pieces. Dice the potatoes into one inch, uh, one inch pieces and thinly slice the chives. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do for step one. So now I have all of my um, side dishes or ingredients um, cut and diced and peeled. Um, these are Yukon Go potatoes, so you do not have to peel them if you do not like to. You don't have to, but I like a little bit of skin on my mashed potatoes, which is homemade, which is so good and creamy and fluffy and just bomb.com. Right, y'all? So these are my carrots. They are peeled and sliced. And this is, so the second step right here is to cook your potatoes. So it says place your potatoes in a medium pot with enough salted water to cover by one inch. Bring to boil, cook until tender about 15 minutes. And it says to reserve a quarter cup of the cooking water and then drain and return potatoes to the pot. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then while that is happening, we're going to do step three as well, which is roast our carrots. So meanwhile, toss the carrots with a drizzle of oil, one tablespoon, or no, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of fried seasoning and a big pinch of salt and pepper on a foil lined baking sheet or the one that is preheated. It says roast tossing halfway through um, enough until lightly browned and tender, um, about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so remember to have your oven on 450 preheated. So mine is still preheating. It should be good and hot now. And I also have my potatoes on the stove, which are about to start boiling. Okay, so I have my baking sheet here and I have my foil and it says to line my baking sheet with foil. That's going to be there. So I'm just lining it here. And of course, if you have a little bit extra, you can always fold it over. At least that's what I do. I know it's not gonna burn the oven, but you know, just to be safe. I'm to just go ahead and just drizzle just a teeny bit of olive oil so that your carrots do not stick to it. So I just like to run my eyes around just a little bit And then it says to just put your carrot fries on. And I'm just gonna evenly distribute mine. And again, you can use your fingers. Don't be scared to get a little dirty. Cause you know, that's how the food be coming good. Be tasting good, y'all. Just make your hands a little dirty. Oh, I feel like I'm on a food network, y'all. <laughs> Psych. Okay, so it says to use a little bit of the uh, fry seasoning. About a, this is actually a tablespoon, so use about a teaspoon of the fry seasoning. And I'm just going to drizzle that on just a teeny bit. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so good already. 
It does smell the garlic. It smells awesome. Okay, and then if you want, you can just drizzle a little bit more um, olive oil just to, I'm gonna just put mine around the sides a little bit so that my carrots don't stick. And then it says that you can add some salt. I am going to use my Morton's Nature Seasoning, which is like my all time favorite. Then I'm also gonna use a little bit of parsley flakes just to give it some color. And then we're gonna throw it in the oven. You can also use a seasoning salt if you would like, but these are carrots, so you know, I guess it depends on your preference. But I'm just gonna throw some parsley just to give it a little bit of color. All right, and now it's time to go ahead and go in the oven. You wanna make sure you place that on the top rack as well. The next step is step four, which is to bread the chicken. So it says combine the panko with remaining fry season, fruit seasoning, and a big pinch of salt and pepper. Pat the chicken dry with paper towels. Season all, of, all over with salt and pepper. Brush chicken all over with half the sour cream. Uh, working one piece at a time, coat the chicken all over with the panko mix, pressing to adhere. So, so it says to um, use the panko breadcrumbs that they have here, and I think this is just the original kind. I normally like to get this seasoned kind if I buy it. But we're just gonna pour it onto our plates here. Then it says to pour the rest of the fry seasoning that you have left. This fry seasoning smells so good, you guys. And then of course you can use salt and pepper or whatever you else wanna use. I am gonna, again, use my nature seasoning as a season to make sure that my chicken is seasoned. I like to use that. I'm gonna use some parsley to give it, of course, some color. And if you have paprika, you can mix that as well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all together. So now all of our seasoning is made and our breadcrumbs so we can go ahead and season our chicken up. So I am just taking my chicken cutlet that they gave me for this meal. This is uh, raised without any antibiotics, which is awesome. Um, it says the calories is 150 and it's really nice to have. So I'm going to take this out of the package and I'm going to clean this off and get started so I have my chicken here these tongs are so cute they are from Dollar Tree if you guys have not seen them before you should definitely go grab them I just wanted to do that so I'm gonna place my chicken breast in here or chicken cutlets and just make sure each side is coated evenly with the chicken breast or the panko bread crumbs <laughs> obviously I forgot the name of it <laughs> kill which is just, so it's not going to take long to cook it all which is good because most people that have HelloFresh are very busy either they work a lot or they're students or some people just don't want to wait they just don't have the time so this is amazing. So, look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. So, I'm transferring back this back over here. I'm going to go ahead and do step five. It says fry the chicken and mash the potatoes. So, by now, your potatoes should be fork tender um, and should be ready to go. 
it says heat a four inch layer of oil in a large pan over medium high heat add chicken and cook until panko is golden brown and meat is cooked thorough or cooked through um, so four to five minutes per side transfer to a paper towel lined plate and set aside and then it says to pot with potatoes and add the remaining sour cream um, two tablespoons of butter and have the chives I might leave the chives out because I don't like chives so we'll see um, but it says mash adding reserved cooking water if needed until creamy and smooth so yeah you can add milk if you don't want to use the water um, yeah so milk makes it way more creamy in your mashed potatoes taking my chicken cutlets and I have my pan here my medium saucepan or a large saucepan and I have my oil inside of it I'm just using um, olive oil and I'm just placing my chicken in the pan And while we let that heat up, we are going to go ahead and check our um, carrot fries and flip them over. Make sure that they cook evenly. through my chicken so that it cooks I'm gonna cut through my chicken so that it cooks evenly and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it as well this is gonna be so good So I'm going to let this cook over here and then while that's cooking I'm going to get my strainer, strain my potatoes and get my potatoes all prepped and ready to go. Okay, so now my potatoes are fully fork tender and ready to be uh, prepared. So this is what it looks like, <laughs> super good. Just going to um, release the water. It's going to take a little bit of cool water and just put it over the potatoes just to cool them off just a teeny bit. And I am going to go ahead and transfer them back into the pan. And then we're going to assemble it. So this is what my chicken looks like so far. It looks so super good. Let me zoom in for y'all. Look how good that is. Oh my gosh, super good, right? So your meat, my meat actually looks like it is, oh wow, that is definitely pork tender, so. So I don't have a masher, I have to go buy me one. <laughs> I thought I had one, but I don't. So I'm just using a fork. They're still gonna be awesome and really good. And then you guys will see how I get my potatoes all nice and creamy and good. Add both of my sour cream packets.
Gonna add some seasoning to my potatoes. Gonna add some milk, of course. Just a little bit. And of course, some crock, uh, country crock butter. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna watch the magic happen. So just stir that all in together. So this is the dish so far. And then the last step is The last step is step six, which says plate and serve. So it says divide the chicken and carrots between the plates, drizzle the hot honey chicken over and serve it, or you can serve it on the side for dipping. Sprinkle the remaining chives onto the potatoes. So I am not gonna add chives, but I am gonna go ahead and add the Mike's Hot Honey Sauce. And I am so excited to try this. All right, so here is Oh my gosh, the honey takes forever to come out. Woohoo. Oh my god, you guys. Yes. Our completed meal dish, what theirs look like, which looks just like mine, super amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished meal. And I'm about to taste it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to make these type of videos. Um, yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Food Network. What y'all think? <laughs> it's actually so cool to get just HelloFresh meal. So, of course, if you guys want a HelloFresh meal, I will put all the information in the description box. Check that. And yeah. So, let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Okay, so I got my drink of choice, which is Carlo Rossi. Or Carlo Rossi. It has the El Moscato Sangria. So, I have my glass here. Cheers to me. And then I have my hot honey crispy chicken at dinner. So let's try it. Okay, so let's try our uh, carrot fries first. So this is the carrot fries. It has a little bit of mmm. That's really good. It's like roasted carrots. So good. Y'all, that is super bomb. Now I gotta start making some uh, roasted carrots because the honey, that is bomb. That's so good. It has like a sweet, like little hint to it. Mmm. That's so good. You want some? <laughs> um, I, don't know, I can't stop eating them. The fry seasoning is perfect. It's not salty. It has a perfect balance of garlic, um, onion seasoning, and paprika. Like you really like, don't taste it. It's just so good. It tastes just like carrots. It's just like a really good way to get your children to eat vegetables if they're really picky eaters. Um, so yeah, my girls will love this. Care fries, I would, I would have been making this every weekend. Let me tell y'all. Let's try our potatoes. 
They're so creamy and fluffy. Oh my gosh. They're seasoned just right, nice and fluffy and juicy and just plump and potatoey and just so good. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. Okay, so time to dip into our chicken, which is the crispy hot honey chicken. And I'm gonna grab me a knife really quick and go ahead and dip into this chicken honey. So again, this is a chicken cutlet. Ooh, it's so tender, fork tender. I don't even think I needed a, a knife. I'm super good though. So here it goes. Mm. The perfect amount of seasoning. It's not too hot, it's just right. The balance between the little bit of spicy tang to it and the honey, it balances out perfect. It's just nice. Um, it doesn't have too much seasoning, but not it's not bland either. Um, it's super, super good. Like this dinner, y'all, I did it big because this is good. Mm-hmm. The only thing I wish is that they have more to the honey, like a bigger size honey sauce packet because that sauce is so good and it's just melted into this, the meat. Oh my gosh. This is so good. So, cheers to moi. Perfect. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'm about to go eat my dinner and watch a movie and get ready for tomorrow for work. And thumbs up this video if y'all like this type of videos. I would do more little cooking videos if you guys would like me to. Um, comment down below. Let me let let me know what you guys think. And of course, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you never forget my notifications. Honey bun, honey bun. <laughs> no, I'm being silly, but thanks again for watching. I'm so excited about this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.